A new drug for Alzheimer's treatment is showing evidence that it can slow the progression of the disease. It is a major breakthrough for an illness that until now has baffled scientists and eluded efforts to treat it. Nate Salazar spoke with MidMichigan Alzheimer's group and health experts. He's here for you now with what they're saying. It is the only thing we have. Bertha Bullen is a mid-Michigan native and volunteers with the Michigan Alzheimer's Association. She says the FDA's latest drug, lecanemab, or lecembi, is a beacon of hope for the Alzheimer's community. The new drug, approved by the Food and Drug Administration on Friday, has been proven to effectively remove a sticky protein called beta amyloid that builds up into brain-clogging plaque. It's no cure, but can buy people more time. There was about a 27 percent reduction in progression of the disease in the people who took this drug. And this is the first time we have seen anything that even appears to impact that progression. It's meant to be used by people in the very earliest stages of the disease, and it's administered through IV every two weeks. But experts at Sparrow Hospital tell me there are some possible risks that come along with it. Which would be a serious one is the bleeding of the brain or swelling of the brain. This drug is, is approved, but we're not even close to be administering it to the general public yet. But moving forward, Alzheimer's experts tell me the choice to use the drug may not even be possible for some as the treatment is expensive. The Alzheimer's Association is calling on these insurance companies and CMS to make it available to cover it. And for Bullen, it's a step in the right direction. We got involved because we wanted to see more research done to come to this day where there is actually something that might impact the disease course. Here for you in Lansing, Nate Salazar, 6 News. In other health